What's going on, my brothers and sisters? Uh, just want to talk about the Lord and speaking to me and show me how spiritual warfare been rising a lot. You know what I'm saying? Especially in this month, you know, due to Halloween. We all know Halloween is demonic. You know, Christians shouldn't be celebrating Halloween, really anybody, because Halloween is basically celebrating you know, the devil. You know what I'm saying? It's demonic. It ain't right. And it's sad because a lot of people think it's harmless just to celebrate Halloween and stuff. And, like, they don't understand when you celebrate Halloween, it's like you worship. It's like you celebrating the devil. And it's when when people that celebrate Halloween, or, you know, they let people, like, the kids and stuff wear, like, outfits and, like, Halloween costumes and stuff. Taking on a different identity, like, putting on a, like, letting a little girl wear a mermaid suit or, or uh, you know, dressing up as these 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 Halloween costumes. It opens up a demonic door. And that's the truth. And it's sad that people don't understand that. But it's like the Lord been showing me how spiritual warfare is rising. And the devil been trying to attack the saints. He be trying to he trying to wear out the saints. But we know in the Bible that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. You know what I'm saying? And I want to just let y'all know to keep fighting. Keep fighting a good fight for it to the end. Keep staying strong because the Lord Jesus, he the one that gives us that strength to do this well. He gives us the strength to keep doing this. You know what I'm saying? And I mean, I meant like spiritual warfare been rising. Like, I ain't gonna lie, like the past month, like these months, like like the um, the devil been trying to attack me. You know, he be trying to attack my mind. Like, it be these lily witches be trying to attack me. And, uh, and like, I had like a dream last night. It was messed up. It was like I was in this haunted house, but it was like in the spirit. I was in this haunted house. And, um, you know, and it was like I seen like this haunted house. It looked so messed up. It looked creepy. It looked just just dark. And then it's like I seen these witches and they just look like skeletons and they just look just nasty. And I just felt the darkness. And it was like they were trying to chase me. And I had like other dreams before, like witches trying to chase me. But I know it's just the devil trying to attack my mind. And he's just like how you try it, like how the devil trying to attack any other believer. But the thing is, like when you know when we wake up from these dreams, when the devil trying to attack our mind, it's important to get in that prayer and to rebuke the lies of the devil. Don't believe no lie the devil try to throw your way. And how we attack the lies against the devil is with the truth. That's how we attack the lies of the devil is with the truth, and the truth is in the Lord in the Lord's word. It's in the Bible, and the truth is Jesus Christ. So that's how we fight against the lies of the devil. And the devil always try to attack born again believers. Cause the devil don't attack nobody that spiritually did. You know what I'm saying? And you know, we gotta understand how this 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 fight, this this warfare, it ain't flesh and blood. You know what I'm saying? This warfare is this against the spiritual um principalities of uh of wicked places and high I mean uh, this warfare is against spiritual wickedness in high places. That's how warfare really is. You know what I'm saying? And it's important that we know how to fight this warfare. And the Bible talks about put on the whole arm of God. Take on the shield of faith. Put on the helmet of salvation. Put on the breastplate of righteousness. And take a hold of the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. It's important that we not ignorant of how Satan to, uh, attack us. Be not be not ignorant of Satan's devices. We can't be ignorant how uh, the devil try to attack us. How he try to attack our mind. Maybe it be depression. Maybe it be like them... Um, Maybe if you play a certain uh, sad song, like don't be playing that stuff. Cause like, you know how, you should know how the devil will try to attack your mind. He might try to throw depression your way. Or you know, like that time, like you might drive in the car alone or you be alone. The devil might try to attack you with loneliness. You know what I'm saying? Or like the devil might try to attack you with anger. All these things. We can't be ignorant how the devil try to attack us. And the thing is, it should be like a, like an alarm. Once we get attacked, it's like it's like an alarm, like knowing like, oh, I need to go to war in the spirit. I need to pray against this. I need to rebuke the lies of the devil. I need to cast down these wicked imaginations to the bombers pit in the name of Jesus Christ. Because the Lord Jesus, when you follow Jesus, you come to faith, you are filled with the Holy Spirit. Jesus gave you power. He gave us power to tread on serpents and scorpions. And you know what? You know, even though these witches been trying to attack me, these witches been trying to attack my mind, the devil trying to attack my mind, I rebuke the lies of the devil, I'm going to continue to live by faith in the Lord Jesus, and I'm going to keep my foot on the devil neck, and that's how I be coming with that mentality, like, like with uh, that mentality like a soldier, it's important to take that soldier mentality, because you a soldier, you a warrior, when you walk in this, um, when you walk in warfare, just know the God that we serve in the Lord Jesus Christ, that Jesus got the victory. So when I walk in warfare and spiritual warfare, and this is how y'all should walk in spiritual warfare too, is just know that we got the victory through Jesus Christ that Satan's defeated.
And I'm coming with the with the weapons of with the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. That's why it's important that we read the word of God. We know the word of God for ourselves. Because when we pray God's word, Jesus, God responds. And it's important that we know God's word. Because these witches, these warlocks, they be they be they be trying to uh speak death on you. They be trying to throw witchcraft at you. They speak in death on you. Because there's power of life and death in the tongue. But the thing is, there's power of life in the tongue too. So when we speak the word of God, when we pray the word of God, and we speak faith in Jesus Christ, that's speaking life. You know what I'm saying? And then also put on the whole arm of God. See, it's important that we put on the whole arm of God, but also um, put on the whole arm of God also means we put on the whole arm of God just by living by faith in Jesus, by walking in obedience. That's how we put on the whole armor of God as well. Because the thing is, the Bible talks about neither give a place to the devil. Let him that stole steal no more. See, it's like when, say, a believer, if you living in sin, especially habitual sin, or you like double minded in the spirit, like them witches, them world like the devil, they could see that. And it's like when you living in sin, it's like you giving legal rights to the devil to mess with you or anybody that, that, that live in sin. It's like you give legal rights for the devil, the devil to mess with you, to attack your mind, to, to, to literally uh, throw condemnation or whatever at your way. So the way we put up the whole armor of God also is by living by faith in Jesus, walking in obedience because faith and obedience correlate with each other. So when you walk in obedience, when you live a life of sanctification, that's a way that we put on the armor of God. The whole arm of God. And then also going to war in the spirit, doing them them prayers, them warfare prayers. You know what I'm saying? Uh, praying against the lies of the devil and rebuking them. You know what I'm saying? Just knowing that authority that Jesus gave us, that power that Jesus gave us, that we could tread on serpents and scorpions. And you know what? Just know that, you know, anytime you go in that warfare prayer, know that we serve the Lord Jesus Christ, the El Shaddai, the Elohim. That, that God is a consuming fire. You know what I'm saying? That's the God we serve in the Lord Jesus Christ. And he has the victory. And you know, Jesus gives us that strength to endure. And I say that because, you know, being real, doing this walk, this, this walk alone journey. And you know, there's times that we be tired. There'll be times that we might be going through a lot. We, we, the time that we just cry out to the Lord. We just cry because we're going through so much. But it's important that we pray to Jesus. Be honest with God. I'll be so honest with the Lord. Like, I'm going through a lot. You know what I'm saying? I, I cry out to Jesus all the time. You know what I'm saying? But the thing is, when I come to Jesus and I'm going through a lot, I might feel tired. Every time I come out of that prayer, I, and even during the prayer, I feel the Lord give me that strength. I feel Jesus giving me, um, it's like he rejuvenated me. It's like he gave me that strength. He gave me that comfort. The Bible lets us know that uh, he give us, Jesus give us that comfort in tribulations. And I rejoice in tribulation because the devil don't attack nobody that spiritually did. So rejoice when you get attacked. Rejoice in tribulation. Because just know that, you know what? How I look at it, I want the devil to be mad at me. I want them demons to be mad at me. I want them witches and warlocks to be mad at me, to be pissed off. Because that's, that, that's how I know that I'm doing something right, which means I'm following Jesus. You know what I'm saying? I'm living by what his word saying. That's how anybody is. And that's how y'all could be, too. And how y'all are is, too. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, uh, this walk can be tiring. But Jesus give us that peace that surpasses all understanding. Jesus give us that comfort. He give us that strength to endure. The Bible says endure harness is a good soul to Jesus Christ. Jesus is the one that gives us that strength. You know what I'm saying? You know, so it's important to not be ignorant of saying devices. It's important to know how the devil tried to attack you. And to pray against those things, to rebuke those things. You know what I'm saying? To cast it down to the pit in the name of Jesus Christ. But I just want to speak on that spiritual warfare that's been rising, man. It's been rising. And the devil trying to wear out the saints. But you know what? Ain't no ain't no devil in hell can stop the plan that God got for you. God for you. Ain't no devil in hell can stop the plan that God got for you. And just know. When you put on the whole arm of God and when you following Jesus, when you walking with God and in the spirit, it's like a ring of fire around you that's protecting you. It's like the Lord put a shield around you. He put a ring of fire to protect you. And it's like literally 
It's like when them witches and them warlocks, when they be trying to throw witchcraft at your way, it will literally bounce back off that wall of fire. It will bounce back off and it will hit right back at them witches. It will hit right back at them warlocks. It can't penetrate because Jesus is protecting y'all. Jesus protect us. Jesus protect his children. So it's important that we put on the whole arm of God. That we take on the shield of faith and to do them warfare prayers, to go to war in the spirit. Because we don't fight against flesh and blood. We fight against the spiritual wickedness in high places, against principalities. And you know how I be looking at it, you know, the Lord is raising up an army right now. The Lord raising up some soldiers that's ready to, 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 to go on the offense. You know what I'm saying? That's how I be looking at it. I'm, I'm ready to go on the offense. I want, I, I want to destroy every plan of the devil. I want to destroy every principality, every wickedness. I want to destroy it all right now, all in the name of Jesus Christ. And it's not me that do it. It's Jesus Christ. Because Jesus Christ, when we come into faith, it's no longer I that live. It's no longer you that live. When you come into faith, it's Jesus. It's Jesus Christ that live in us, that live in me. And you know, it's the Lord Jesus that gave us that power. You know what I'm saying? And it's time to be that light, to be that light that Jesus calls you to be in wherever you at. You know what I'm saying? But I just want y'all to know that power that Jesus gave y'all when you come to faith. You know what I'm saying? That you can pray that warfare prayer. That you can go to war in spirit. That you can walk in victory because you serve the great God and Almighty in Jesus Christ. When you, when you serve and follow Jesus Christ, there's victory through him. And that means you got the victory too through Jesus Christ. So I just want to encourage y'all to keep fighting. Keep, keep, keep fighting, man. Keep enduring. You know what I'm saying? Keep staying strong. You know what I'm saying? I know the devil be trying to attack our minds. He be trying to attack your mind. But keep going to war in the spirit. Keep rebuking the lies of the devil. Don't believe no lies the devil try to throw your way. You know, rehearsing your head the truth, which is in the word of God, and what Jesus think about you, how he looks about you, how, how he looks at you, and what he say about you. You know what I'm saying? But... Yeah, I just I know I could I I I I've been I, I know in the spirit and the Lord been showing me like spiritual warfare been rising, but you know what? It's all good because you know what Jesus protect us. Jesus is with His children, but it is the point that we put on the whole armor of God that we put that armor on. You know, what I'm saying the way we put on that whole armor of God too is by living by obedience in Jesus Christ and also knowing God's word. You know what I'm saying? So we could do them warfare prayers. You know what I'm saying? It's important to do those. But I want y'all folks to stay strong. You know what I'm saying? Y'all some soldiers. Continue to have that fire side of y'all. I pray that the Lord Jesus set a fire side of y'all tonight. I pray that you guys will have that fire side of y'all that will never quench. They will keep growing. They will keep growing. Because we serve a God in the Lord Jesus Christ that he is a consuming fire. And he want us as his children to be on fire for him. To be everything he called us to be. All for the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I pray that you guys will be that in Jesus name. You know what I'm saying? But just know that the Lord Jesus is always with you when you come into faith. But I just want to share what the Lord is showing me about how spiritual warfare is rising. And I just want y'all to know to continue to stay strong because y'all some soldiers. But I love y'all guys. Y'all stay blessed. Y'all stay encouraged, man. You know what I'm saying? And y'all continue to just live by faith in Jesus and just know everything going to be all right. Because the Lord is always with his, always with his children and protects his children. But y'all stay blessed in Jesus' name.